right, what's going on guys? Uh, nope. Let's clean the lens. I need a new lens. Okay. All right, what's going on guys? Travis with RAC Garage, and today we're back on the 36, working on the cowl feet. I'm gonna strip those down to just hopefully the original metal and try to make a pattern off the good one and just put patches in where I need to. Uh, making the whole thing, it's some thick metal, it's gonna be a pain. It's easier to just patch it and blend it out, make it look nice. Uh, so, what I've done so far, um, obviously you've seen the two patches. I went out and uh, finished that weld out about like 80% just to keep on rolling. Uh, I still have yet to tackle the corners on either front. I did put the firewall in, kind of just clamped it on there with two clamps. Let's see. It's significantly more heavy with a firewall in it. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at this. All right, there it is. And I don't know if it's because I have it clamped weird, but it fits like crap. Uh, so that's going to be... You know, that's going to take some doing. It's mainly, I guess it's all right, but this, this piece here is the only piece that does not fit on the pinch weld on this side. It's like, I don't know if I got to cut that slot or what I got to do. Maybe I just got to move it over, which will kind of bring it down and bring that one up a bit. Eh, that might work. But... It's a little street rotty because it's just smooth. So we were talking about it and what we're gonna do is put some X's in here like factory. And I think I'm doing that kind of zigzag pattern on the front here. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe even an X in the back there, some little ones on there we'll look at the old one and kind of kind of decide what we want to do but it's not going to stay smooth let's actually look at it now it's over here somewhere yeah okay so yep so this has got a zigzag in it that's got a zigzag in it x x and the middle actually has nothing so we might leave the middle alone just to keep them at kind of match the factory. So this one's a, a zigzag all the way to here. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then maybe when it zags down here, we'll put an X through it. That'd be kind of cool. Um, laying that out's gonna be fun. Yeah, enough on this. We're not doing this right now. So let's take that out. Actually, we can move the whole cowl over here to the corner. Get that stupid tripod out of the way. We could be working on these feet. So this is a more complete one or a more original one. I got to take that support off the end there because that's a separate piece. It's just been tacked on. Uh, and then it's actually in good shape other than a few things. We got a crack here and this front edge was just welded on terribly so that's what I think we need to uh, redo there because I don't know if you can tell inside it's pretty rotted oh there it is yeah so that's gonna change but I don't think it's too big of a deal just need to find it. either find the stock or go buy it but let's uh start working on these feet tearing them apart um, seeing what we need to replace.
All right, so I got this all cleaned up of any extra metal, any weld. Um, I do have to cut this end off. I just, you know, see the weld in there. I'm not happy with that. And it's got rot right there on the back side. So I'm going to do exactly what they did before. Cut the front off and replace it. But I don't know, might do a little better job. Who knows? Hopefully. So I'm going to find a piece, the piece of steel and some material that's the same thickness as this. And we're going to start making some templates. We got to make two because it's double layered here. See, there's this layer here and this one here. Who knows? I might even just cut it off and then template it. No, I'll template it before. I'll just make the pieces, shape them over this maybe. This might help. And, uh, you know, get it done. Not blabbing. All right, so I didn't have any steel in the back. I do, I got all 18 gauge and like eighth inch steel. I didn't have any 16 gauge. So I had to go get a piece, 24 by 24. Should do it for everything I need. Auto pads, so this piece should make two of these. And this needs the most, the whole bottom and some of the, uh, the second layer on the top. And the patch in the and the patch right there that I cut out. <sighs> yeah, this piece needs a lot, so most of it's gonna go to this. But this is literally a uh, a ten by six inch piece square that I can make this out of. So I need two of these, and then this front is like six inches by like four inches. So I should have plenty. Of material here two by two to work with and the steel place always gives me candy so I like going there I guess it's a thank you for being shafted because this piece was forty dollars forty dollars for this it should be like ten bucks but regardless let's mark some out I think the first one first one I want to do is this front uh, it's an easy piece to get me going and it'll pretty much finish out this foot piece so I'll get that all cut out shaped up and then we'll start cutting this and tacking the new piece to it and we should be cooking oh we should be cooking with grease So I got this piece shaped. Uh, it was very tough. I don't work with 16 gauge that often, but goddamn, this is very hard stuff to form and shape. Uh, it's got these little corners here, here and here. So there's a slight curve to it. This had to get shrunk. And hammer shrinking these, whew, that took a lot. So now I'm just gonna put it up to this. Do a sharpie line, cut it off, uh, leave the line if I can. A 
Yeah, sharpie line right there, cut it off, and that will cut all the bad stuff out. Hopefully, it's not too much weld on the inside I gotta fix, but there will be some. Then, I think I'll just cut that off, then separate this inner piece uh, later on while it's off. Then weld it on here first and then put the piece we just made on, so. So this guy is ready for the blasters. I am going to leave, actually, I might spot weld this here uh, before. Before I do that, I might, before I send it to the blasters, I think I might spot weld this. I have a spot welder down under the bench. I haven't used it yet. I think I should try and get it, get it going, but there's the end cap, 16 gauge. I'm gonna leave that uh, welded like that just because it's a really structural part and it gets covered by everything you never see it um, so yeah I'm gonna leave the weld down there keep it strong and that one is ready uh, I might mess with this a little bit try to clean that up but other than that it's pretty much ready for the blaster and then I can take some well i'm going to take some patterns off of this first before it goes to the blaster because i want to send everything at once but to try and get this guy patched up so it's going to be kind of tough it's a complex shape and i have to pretty much get the whole bottom here and up the side and it's like a i don't know it curves and twists and does a whole bunch of stuff that it's pretty complex for 16 gauge. If it was 18 gauge, I'd have no qualms of uh, trying to shape this piece, but it's going to be tricky.
All right, so guys, you just saw me beat and wail on this piece to get it in. Uh, it's 16 gauge, man. It's not forgiving, but it's on there. It's got that little kick out, whatever that is. It's got that little detail in there. Um, I filed out the square hole on the bottom. It's all G from the inside. Uh, now I'm gonna move, move my way down to this area here. All right, so on the back end here, I'm going to cut out this top layer. And uh, actually, i got to cut both of them out, but it's just going to be tough. I guess the bottom is just pretty flat. There is a bend in it about there. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty flat, so I guess that's kind of easy. Yeah, that's easy. So I'll replace the bottom and the top. Um, the top one's going to be a little more tricky because it's got a bunch of curves in it. But still shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh, so let me go start cutting these out of some 16 gauge stock. Hammering them out and getting them fit in. Weld them in just like this one.
All right, everybody, these are about 80% done. Um, as you can see, this one had a lot of patching. I didn't grind off any of the weld on this side yet, but it's got all the right curves and contours and yada yada. And when I put them together, they match up. Everything's nice. I just want to, I got this spot weld that an old man gave me. And uh, I want to plug it in and test it out because it'll be kind of useful. Put some spot welds here and here. Um, spot weld these two pieces together that I made. Be, uh, I don't know. It'll be more professional than uh, doing rosette welds, but that's the first one, obviously. And this one took a bunch. I still have to, I say 80% because this flange still has to be addressed. Uh, it got torn apart. It was kind of kind of rusty and me taking it apart didn't help it. So uh, that's got to be replaced. But that's not too big of a deal. Just got no time today. I'll do it next time. But they are way stronger than they were before. And a lot heavier, actually, too. So, well, yeah, it didn't get to uh, these guys. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably do these um, afterwards. Once these feet are in the cowl, um, I should make these to fit the gap between the, uh, the foot here and the new... Um, the new cow patch repair because it's going to be a little bit different than than factory it always is it's never the same uh, so this would go like that somewhere come on right about there and uh so this bottom of the cowl is gonna the sheet metal on the outside is going to come down and this is going to slip right in but it i think it's probably smart for me to make this uh afterwards once these are welded in. So that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking the bell. You know, all that good stuff. Here's a mess. Next time I'll have a haircut and a beard cap probably. Catch you guys on the next one.